in this example we are going to see uh, one of the example from integration advisor mag okay one of the mapping example that is uh, n leaves from source and one uh, one uh, leaf in the target okay let us see one of the one of the example we have it uh, um, uh, let us see the existing blog and see what exactly this one so this is an example in this example the we have source uh, as g1 which have two occurrences see here the, if you see the simulation data you have two occurrences that means uh, if you click on the uh, left side arrow you will see the corresponding first occurrences of the data if you click on the right side arrow you will see the corresponding uh, um, occurrences of the fields 1154 1156 and uh, 4000 so you can see the occurrences of data of each first occurrence and second occurrence. Here, if you see the target occurrence of target node uh, order request, we have only one occurrence. So the occurrence of the use the cardinality one to one. That means the occurrence of the order request is always one. The its leaves also occurrence is always one. Okay. So what what uh, what the other intention is? Suppose if I have two occurrences here, I want to take the I want to check if the if suppose if the source uh, z1 have only one occurrence I want to take the value of uh, uh, 1154 suppose if the occurrence is uh, it, if it has occurrence 2 then I would like to I would like to take the occurrences of the uh, second occurrence value 1156 and 4000 okay so uh, in this case uh, okay we actually um, we, we are supposed to see d underscore 1156 here okay anyway uh, this 115 is for the um, id and uh, type and version is for the 1156 and 4000 let us assume like this okay uh, version is also from the okay 4000 this is the version type and this is id okay so um so first creating a variables and placing all three values here okay and also one more variable for the count count of uh, this node nodes on the id suppose if, if you have two occurrences the count will return two value if it has one occurrence it count will return one value okay in the first execution case uh, what it will do is uh, if the count is less than one okay then it will it will return the value uh, id value that is that is abc uh, id is here abc something like that to the purchase order number whatever it is the target leave and if the occurrence if suppose if it's second occurrence i, do, I ignore this value and take the value of uh, uh, sales and uh, he's he what he's doing is contact concatenating the uh, v type as well as version sales this is the value sales and it's uh, concatenate with uh, iphone and 3.0 let us see one example how we are doing with uh, we our own example Okay, we have an example, right? So uh, we have some data also. Let us see. This is the data. I have XZ2, and I have uh, so I have some uh, value for the 3055. I created three occurrences to a second occurrence and third occurrence. Okay, so let's execute three occurrences and see the result. I suppose if it is three occurrences, as per the logic, see the logic what I have mentioned here. Uh, so I'll mention logic for the this one right? okay. so suppose the, what, what we ask for as for the same logic uh, I, 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 if it is greater than 2 I, I am supposed to get the value of uh, ID that is a 3055 and a counter also what is the counter value if it is less not greater than 2 and less than 2 I want to I want to get like, the value of this value without counter okay so in our case uh, uh, the counter returns three, right? So this uh, if condition, if condition, second if condition is not true. Can get the value of three? Okay, let us execute it. So we have, uh, yeah, we have already executed three occurrences are there. SG, SG2, we have three occurrences. I have told you this one and this one and this one. Three occurrences. That's why it is showing three occurrences. And if you execute this one, see the answer. So 
uh, yeah, NAD3. So I mentioned, so we can easily see that uh, third value came. Let's remove that. Okay, let's remove them. Let's put the only one across. I don't want to create two. Okay, okay. So I mentioned only one across. Just save it. Okay. If I save it, it has only one across. I am supposed to get the NAD1. Okay. So I'll go here and again simulate payload data, upload it. And see the payload data and uh, upload it or click it. And verify again occurrences of the G2. So occurrences of the G2 only one. So there is only one value. So the counter returns only one. So in this condition I'm satisfied. So it will return the only one value. Okay. Um, so execute it. Earlier value is uh, okay. No, it's automatically executed. Let's download the payload and see the payload, open the payload. So see the payload, this is the one. Okay. Let's execute with the, again three values. Let's remove it. Remove the comment and so you can see the three accuracies, right? Yeah, yeah, this is the one. Again, save it. Okay. Upload the data. Simulate, upload the data, browse it. Failure key, open it, click on OK. So I see the amino three occurrences, right? You will see the okay along with the counter value. Let's download this one, keep it, open it. So if you compare it, then you see counter value this one. Okay. In this case, we have first occurrence. In this case, we have third occurrence. Okay. Like this, you can uh, write a accessibility log with uh, first order requirement. So this is for the Example for many many number of leaves, okay, many number of leaves, and only one occurrence in the target because we did not map the target because we are not supposed to map it. That is the same thing I explained, right? We have many number of uh, source occurrences, but we have only one occurrence of the target. We are not supposed to map group to group and ignore this one and try to map the n leaves to one leaf of the target. 